Hey guys, welcome back. You just tuned in to Style by Jeannie. I want to thank you guys once again for tuning in to my channel. I love you guys. I love you all. But today's look, I think you guys already guessed who it is. I recreated a look. How about you stay tuned and watch this video? Hey guys, so I'm using the Fit Me by Maybelline in colors number 335 and 355. These are liquid foundations I already applied before I started the video. Then I'm going in here with the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer in number 12. This concealer is for me to start my concealing process under the eye. And then next I will be blending with this Beauty Blender. Guys, you need to blend a lot with this full cover concealer from Makeup Forever. It's super heavy and you definitely want to blend this as much as possible. However, to get this look, it was I definitely needed to do a, like a harsh contour. Then you see me using my LA Girl Pro Concealer, the shade I totally forgot. That's my contour brush from Br Crowns. And the contour brush was in the number C473. That's the Pro Contour Brush. There I am using the LA Girl Pro Concealer to contour this look. I am blending. I am blending away. Blending is a must. I had to blend so harsh by my nose. I have such a big nose. But I love it. More concealer, just the blending away. I have to define this look so that way I can get this beautiful black china look. There I am blending, guys. There I am using my NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. This helps me actually achieve the look that I'm going for. You'll see, guys. Absolute New York liquid liner that actually ran out on me as I was recording this video. So even though it ran out on me, I didn't show you guys, but I did wind up going in with Black Track Fluid Line from MAC. It's a cream base eyeliner. So a wing line is actually not too easy to achieve, but I'm sure you guys have watched many videos before and you can either use tape, use, um, you can use your hands like I am and try to pull the skin back a little bit just to achieve this wing line. There you go. You see me wearing this LA actually this is no this was L'Oreal and then I go in with the naked Urban Decay concealer I'm using this concealer only to brighten my under eye just so I can give it this pop so once I put my bangs down you guys can focus more on my eye there I am using the elf eyeshadow and eyeliner stick this is the liner pearl Just going over my waterline. Once again, I'm using the L'Oreal Conceal. I'm the L'Oreal, sorry guys, the L'Oreal Mascara. Now I'm using my Setting Spray by Benign. I'm actually spraying just a little bit on my sponge with the Luxury Benign Banana Powder. Just so I can set everything in. There I go, my Coco Lashes. That was the Demi G. I love these lashes. Oh gosh, they ought to die for it. This went so perfect with the look. I went in with the Beige Benite Powder. And I used my um, powder brush. I don't know which where I got this powder brush from. It's a pointed powder brush, number 954. Not quite sure if it's from Morphe. It doesn't even say it. Just blending this in. There I am using this matte absolute lipstick. Oh gosh, I love it. I so love it. 
This is the color NFA62 Brown. But it comes off a little pinkish on my skin tone. I went in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the, I forgot what color number. Uh, well, this one says Pure Hollywood Liquid Lipstick. Don't you guys love it? There I go with my highlighter from MAC, the Global Glow Mineralized Skin Finish. I actually used to. I used the Global Glow Highlighter Skin Finish in Cheeky Bronze just to define my highlight. That brush is awesome, right? It's from Morphe. I don't see the number on the brush, but it's a fan brush. There I am with my Cheeky Bronze. And my fan brush. Go me. Ow. <laughs> this process do not need to be done the same way I did it. But you guys let me know what you think. Don't forget to comment below. Subscribe. And please like. And actually share my video with everyone else. Thanks. Thank you for watching guys. I really do appreciate it.